okay so let's solve this problem so find the geometric sequence that has seven geometric means between 3 and 768 so since this one is a geometric sequence so first we need to find the common ratio that's r and to solve for r using this geometric sequence formula so we have this a sub n that's the last term and in the given this is the last term so a sub n equals 768 then a sub 1 that's the first term so this one is the first term so therefore a sub 1 equals positive 3 then r is the unknown the common ratio and n that's the number of terms so since we have these seven geometric means between these given two terms so therefore 2 plus 7 that's 9 so n is equal to 9 because this sequence has 9 terms so to solve now for the common ratio so using this formula so we have a sub n that's 768 then equals a sub 1 that's 3 then r so this one is the unknown to the power n minus 1 so n is 9 then minus 1 then simplify so divide both sides by 3 so cancel this 3 and this 768 divide by 3 so 768 divide by 3 equals that's 256 so we have 256 then equals r so this 9 minus 1 that's 8 so r to the power 8 then to solve for r so we just need to take the 8th root of both sides so cancel this 8 so therefore r or the common ratio equals so for the 8th root of 256 so we have 8 then shift this function so that's the 8th root of 256 equals positive 2 so r is equal to 2 so the common ratio is positive 2 so to find now the 7 geometric means since uh, a sub 1 is equal to 3 so therefore to solve for a sub 2 that's the second term equals a sub 1 times the common ratio so since a sub 1 is 3 times r r is 2 so 3 times 2 that's equal to 6 so a sub 2 is positive 6 then to find the third term that's a sub 3 so that's a sub 2 times the common ratio then a sub 2 is 6 and the common ratio is 2 so therefore the third term or a sub 3 is positive 12 then for the fourth term that's a sub 4 equals that's a sub 3 times the common ratio so a sub 3 is 12 times the common ratio is 2 so therefore the fourth term is 24 so that's 12 times 2 then for the uh, a sub 5 that's the fifth term so that's a sub 4 times the common ratio so a sub 4 is 24 times the common ratio is 2 and 24 times 2 that's 48 so the fifth term is 48 then for the sixth term that's a sub 6 equals that's a sub 5 times the common ratio 
So A sub 5 is 48, then times the common ratio, and this 48 times 2, that's 96. Then for A sub 7, the 7 term, so that's A sub 6 times the common ratio, so 96 times 2, so this 96 times 2, so we have 96 times 2 equals, that's 192. So we have 192. And for the 8th term, that's A sub 8. So that's A sub 7 times the common ratio. And that's 192 times 2. So this 192 times 2. So we have 192 times 2 equals, that's 384. So we have 384. So these are the 7 geometric means between 3 and 768. So we have 6, 12, 24, 48, 96, 192 and 384.